Hi, it's Richard Ramos with Green Energy, and a decade ago, your host, Shelly Miles, and I stood in this exact attic and featured the Green Energy Radiant Barrier for the first time. Take a look. All right, we're up here. We are in the attic, and you're pretty close, and I'm not sweating, which is a pretty big thing because this is what you're doing for homeowners. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. We were just outside. It was hot outside, and it's not hot in this attic. And here, and this is why the barrier that's attached to the rafters, we're taking a reading here, it's 89.4, okay. okay? And just for the demonstration in the live attic, we've cut a hole in the barrier. We're gonna take a reading now against the wood. It's 159 degrees. Wow. In All the segment, do radiant barriers work? Let's take a look. But before we take a look, it's July 10th at 2.09 in the afternoon at 96 sunny degrees in San Antonio, Texas. This side of the barrier, 98 degrees. On the back side of the barrier, 162 degrees. That's the power of the green energy radiant barrier. I've been asked by thousands of homeowners in the last decade, how long does the green energy radiant barrier last? You just saw it with your own two eyes. We're really proud of this proprietary blend and this proprietary product. Don't be fooled by cheap imitations that are limited to oxidation and high heat. They'll quit performing. Don't be fooled. Green Energy of San Antonio.com.